Topic: Championship recognition. Topic: 1884 to 1910. Champions were recognized by public acclamation. A champion in that era was a fighter who had a notable win over another fighter and kept winning afterward. Retirements or disputed results could lead to a championship being split among several men for periods of time. With only minor exceptions, the heavyweight division remained free from dual title holders until the 1960s. For an early example, see the 1896 World Heavyweight Championship. Topic: <laughs> Sanctioning Organizations 1910 present. Gradually, the role of recognizing champions in the division evolved into a more formal affair, with public acclamation being supplemented or in some cases, contradicted by recognition by one or more athletic commissions, sanctioning organizations, or a combination of them. The most notable examples with respect to the heavyweight division have included the International Boxing Union IBU, which was formed in Paris in 1910. The organization became the European Boxing Union in 1946, but recognized world champions in various divisions until it subordinated itself in that area to the World Boxing Council. The New York State Athletic Commission NYSAC. A governmental entity initially formed for the purpose of regulating boxing in the state of New York, thanks to New York's place as the epicenter of boxing from the 1930s through 1950s, the NYSAC expanded its reach to sanctioning championship bouts. This practice continued until, like the IBU, the NYSAC became a member of the World Boxing Council WBC. The National Boxing Association NBA was organized in 1921. In 1962, the organization was renamed the World Boxing Association WBA. The World Boxing Council WBC was organized in 1963. The International Boxing Federation IBF, which was founded in 1983 by the members of the United States Boxing Association after the USBA withdrew from membership in the WBA. The World Boxing Organization WBO, which was founded in 1989 by disgruntled members of the World Boxing Council, other bodies also recognize world champions, with varying degrees of legitimacy bestowed upon such recognition by the public at large. Current examples of such groups include the International Boxing Council, International Boxing Organization, World Boxing Federation and World Boxing Union. Topic: <laughs> List of champions. Topic: Footnotes One vacant championship title Voluntarily relinquished championship title Championship recognition withdrawn by sanctioning organization upon his refusal to fight an opponent of the organization's designation. In 1882, Sullivan defeated Paddy Ryan to win the Bare Knuckle Championship of America. 
a lack of legitimate challengers elsewhere gradually resulted in Sullivan earning worldwide recognition. On August 29, 1885, he defeated Dominic McCaffrey in a bout described as the Marquis of Queensbury Glove Contest for the Championship of the World. Corbett announced his retirement from boxing in 1895, nominating Steve O'Donnell as his successor. As tradition demanded the title be won in the ring, O'Donnell was matched against Peter Marr on November 11, 1895 at Maspeth, New York. Marr won via first-round knockout, but the public generally didn't accept Marr and Marr himself expressed a desire to fight Corbett for the real title. In Marr's next bout, Bob Fitzsimmons defeated him via first-round knockout on February 21, 1896. Fitzsimmons in turn was defeated by Tom Sharkey of Dundalk on December 2, 1896, in a contest billed as for the heavyweight title. Corbett announced his return to the ring shortly thereafter, at which time the championship claims of Marr, Fitzsimmons, and Sharkey were for the most part dismissed. Sharkey's title claims lapsed when he was defeated by Jeffries in May 1898. Jeffries announced his retirement, relinquishing the title and promoting a match between Marvin Hart and Jack Root for the championship. Jeffries returned to the ring to challenge Jack Johnson. The British National Sporting Club withdrew its recognition of Johnson as champion when he refused to defend his title against the British champion William Iron Haig. The NSC matched Haig with Canadian Sam Langford for its title on May 24, 1909. Langford won via fourth round knockout but never pursued a championship claim. Schmeling earned championship recognition by defeating Jack Sharkey by controversial disqualification. The New York State Athletic Commission withdrew its recognition of Schmeling when he refused to grant Sharkey an immediate rematch. The NYSAC did not recognize a champion until Sharkey defeated Schmeling in 1932. In late 1934, the International Boxing Union IBU ordered Bear to defend his title against European champion Pierre Charles of Belgium. When Bear refused, the IBU sanctioned a bout between Charles and American George Godfrey for their title on October 2, 1935. Godfrey won via 15-round decision but never pursued a championship claim. The IBU ultimately recognized Bayer's successor James J. Braddock as champion. Two months after Lewis's retirement announcement, the International Boxing Union sanctioned a bout between British champion Bruce Woodcock and American Lee Savold for its version of the title. The bout was not staged until June 1950, however, due to delays caused by injuries suffered by Woodcock in an automobile accident. Meanwhile, Ezard Charles defeated Jersey Joe Walcott to win the vacant National Boxing Association championship title. Savold defeated Woodcock in four rounds to win the IBU title, while Charles gained New York State Athletic Commission recognition and wide public acclaim as champion upon defeating former champion Joe Lewis in September 1950. On June 15, 1951, Joe Lewis defeats Savold via sixth-round knockout, after which the IBU withdrew its recognition of Savold and proclaimed Ezard Charles as champion. 
Following Marciano's retirement, Patterson was matched against Tommy Hurricane Jackson in a championship eliminator on June 8, 1956. Winning via controversial split decision, Patterson then faced light heavyweight titleholder Archie Moore for the vacant title. Upon defeating Moore, Patterson fought and defeated Jackson a second time on July 29, 1957. The World Boxing Association withdrew their championship recognition of Clay by then known as Muhammad Ali upon agreeing to an immediate rematch against former champion Sonny Liston, in violation of WBA rules. The newly founded World Boxing Council and other sanctioning groups continued to recognize Ali as champion. The World Boxing Association, World Boxing Council, New York State Athletic Commission and others withdrew their championship recognition of Ali following his refusal to be inducted into the United States Army subsequent to his conscription. To fill its vacant championship title, the World Boxing Association organized a single elimination tournament involving eight of their ranked contenders Joe Frazier, who was ranked number two, declined to participate, Oscar Bonavina, Jimmy Ellis, Leotis Martin, Carl Mildenberger, two-time former champion Floyd Patterson, Jerry Quarry, Thad Spencer, and former WBA champion Ernie Terrell. In first-round matches, Ellis defeated Martin, Quarry defeated Patterson, Spencer defeated Terrell, and Bonavina defeated Mildenberger. In the semi-finals, Ellis defeated Bonavina while Quarry defeated Spencer, and Ellis defeated Quarry for the championship title. Frazier, meanwhile, was matched against Buster Mathis for a championship recognized by the New York State Athletic Commission together with the commissions of Illinois, Maine, Massachusetts and Pennsylvania. Similar. World. Championship recognition was bestowed upon him by the Texas Athletic Commission following a victory over Dave Ziglovich on April 22, 1969. Frazier defeated Ellis to unify the heavyweight championship, but did not gain universal public acclaim as champion until defeating Muhammad Ali on March 8, 1971. In an unprecedented move, upon withdrawing its recognition of Leon Spinks as champion, the World Boxing Council immediately recognized Ken Norton as champion, based on an earlier victory over Jimmy Young. As a condition of being named champion, Norton was ordered to face the WBC's new mandatory challenger, Larry Holmes within 120 days. Holmes relinquished his World Boxing Council championship and accepted championship recognition bestowed by the newly organized International Boxing Federation. Following its 1978 precedent, upon withdrawing championship recognition from Riddick Bowie, the World Boxing Council immediately awarded championship recognition to Lennox Lewis, on the basis of his victory in an October 31, 1992, championship eliminator, over Donovan Ruddick. Following its withdrawal of recognition from George Foreman, the International Boxing Federation sanctioned a December 9, 1995 match between Francois Botha and Axel Schultz for its championship. Botha won the bout by split decision, but the bout result and Botha's championship title were vacated after Botha's post-fight drug test revealed he had taken illegal anabolic steroids. A subsequent bout between Schultz and Michael Moorer was sanctioned for the IBF championship. 
Upon defeating John Ruiz, Roy Jones Jr. simultaneously held the World Boxing Association's heavyweight and light heavyweight titles. At his request, the WBA suspended its rule prohibiting simultaneous title holding. It later declared Jones its champion in recess and sanctioned a December 13, 2003 bout between Ruiz and Hasim Rahman for its interim championship. Ruiz won the bout. On February 20, 2004, Jones relinquished his heavyweight title to resume boxing as a light heavyweight, at which point Ruiz was elevated to full championship recognition. On April 30, 2005, Ruiz was defeated by James Tony in a championship defense, but post-fight drug testing determined Tony had taken Nandrolone, an anabolic steroid. The bout's result was subsequently changed to a no contest. Whereupon the WBA reinstated Ruiz as champion. Following repeated injuries to champion Vitali Klitschko, the World Boxing Council sanctioned an August 13, 2005 bout between Hasim Rahman and Monty Barrett for its interim championship. Rahman won the bout, and when Klitschko relinquished his title three months later, the WBC elevated Rahman to full championship recognition. Following repeated injuries which prevented him from defending his title, the World Boxing Association designated Chagayev a champion in recess, sanctioning an August 30, 2008 bout between former champions John Ruiz and Nikolai Valuev for its interim title, a bout won by Valuev. Upon his recovery however, Chagayev opted to face Vladimir Klitschko rather than Valuev, whereupon the WBA withdrew championship recognition. The World Boxing Association modified its championship structure, creating a new super champion status to be awarded to champions who hold multiple titles simultaneously. Now subordinated to this was the status of world champion, commonly referred to as the regular champion. The organization then sanctioned a bout between Povetkin and former champion Ruslan Chagayev for this regular title. Povetkin's reign as the WBA's regular champion ended upon a loss to Super champion, Vladimir Klitschko, at which point the regular title was vacant. Brown defeated Ruslan Chagayev for the World Boxing Association's regular championship title, but Brown subsequently tested positive for clenbuterol, a banned substance. Following confirmation of the positive result, the WBA withdrew its recognition of Brown's regular championship. On October 29, 1877 a fight between British fighters Tom Allen and Tomkin Gilbert at the Sadler's Wells Theatre, London was billed as for the world heavyweight title under Marquess of Queensbury rules. Allen won in seven rounds. Botha defeated Axel Schultz for the vacant International Boxing Federation title, but Botha subsequently tested positive for Nandrolone, a banned substance. Following confirmation of the positive result, the IBF withdrew its recognition of Botha, next awarding its title to the winner of a bout between Schultz and Michael Moorer. Topic. Current status of prominent championship titles 
International Boxing Federation Andy Ruiz Jr. is the organization's currently recognized champion, World Boxing Association Andy Ruiz Jr. is the organization's currently recognized super champion. Manuel Char is currently recognized as the organization's regular champion. His next defense of this title is scheduled to be against WBA interim champion Trevor Bryan. Agreement for the bout was reached on May 28, 2019, but details have not been announced. Trevor Bryan is currently recognized as the organization's interim champion, having been awarded that distinction on August 11, 2018 by defeating B.J. Flores. His next bout will be against WBA regular champion, Manuel Char for Char's title, at which time win or lose his interim championship will be vacated. Agreement for the bout was reached on May 28, 2019, but details have not been announced. World Boxing Council Deontay Wilder is the organization's currently recognized champion. His last defense of this title occurred on May 18, 2019, defeating Dominic Brazil, World Boxing Organization. Andy Ruiz Jr. is the organization's currently recognized champion, lineal champion. Tyson Fury is currently recognized by ESPN as the lineal champion of the heavyweight division. Topic. List of combined reigns As of March 5, 2018. This list includes only major titles, and it does not include lineal championships after 1921. Keys Active title reign Reign has ended WBO heavyweight title bouts before August 1997 are not included. Topic. List of individual reigns The list includes both the ring and lineal championships. Career total time as champion for multiple time champions does not apply. Keys Active title reign Reign has ended the WBO heavyweight title bouts before August 1997 are not included. Topic. By nationality Topic. See also Heavyweight Boxing Championship Records and Statistics List of Olympic medalists in boxing Hashtag Heavyweight List of WBA Female World Champions Hashtag Light Heavyweight List of WBC Female World Champions Hashtag Heavyweight List of IBF Female World Champions Hashtag Heavyweight List of WBO Female World Champions Hashtag Heavyweight Topic. Further reading Florio, John, Shapiro, Wheezy one Punch from the Promised Land, Leon Spinks, Michael Spinks, and the Myth of the Heavyweight Title. Lions Press. p. 279. ISBN 978-0-7627-8300-7.